But you see the verse that you said about um, yeah. 336, that one was talking about um, the marriage of um, Zainab, the first okay. daughter. Yep. Um, and how she was going to get married to um, the Prophet's companion. Yep. His name is Zain. Yep. Yeah. And the pro uh, Zainab's family didn't like him, didn't like the Prophet. Yep. So that, that meant that um, that verse was revealed to to them or to him and then he revealed it to them and then they went on with the proposal right them. hold on one second just think about that you you called her the prophet's daughter yeah. did the pro did the prophet marry her no are you sure the, pro the prophet married his daughter mm, prophet the prophet married his cousin his first cousin so what actually happened the full story you can find it in uh, Al Tahari volume 8 and what happened is Muhammad visits the house of Zaid and Zainab is in a state of undress she's not fully clothed and Muhammad sees her and he's he finds her enticing let's say he he likes what he sees okay now up to this point Muhammad had want, you know, had, had arranged for Zainab to marry Zaid. Yeah. Zainab was his cousin. Zainab was his cousin. Zainab was the cousin of Muhammad, and Zaid was, was Zainab, his. Zainab was the, the, the daughter of Muhammad. No cousin, first cousin. That was for Zaid. Zaid is. No, Zaid was his adopted son. You've got it mixed up. Zaid was the, the adopted son of Muhammad. Yeah. And Zainab was the cousin of Muhammad. And then the verse, so what you've got here is the fact that Muhammad lusted after a married woman. Now, is it a sin or not a sin to desire a married woman? Uh, no. Unless it's not a sin. Unless you act upon it. Okay, unless you act upon it. So then Muhammad has this sudden revelation from Allah, which says, Behold, thou didst say, to one who had received the grace of Allah and thy favor, retain thou thy wife and fear Allah. So initially Muhammad said, because Zaid then, when he discovered this, Zaid came to, to Muhammad and said, I'll divorce Zainab. And Muhammad said, no, no, keep your wife. And then Allah is revealing this verse in connection to that moment. So he's repeating what Muhammad said, yeah? But thou didst hide in thy heart that which Allah was about to make manifest. So what did he desire in his heart? Well, he desired Zainab, right? So this woman who was married to his own adopted son, he now desires to marry. And then Allah goes on to say, Thou did fear the people, but it is more fitting that thou fear Allah. Then when Zaid had dissolved his marriage with her with the necessary formality we joined her in marriage to thee is that a verse in the Quran or yeah that's surah 33 ayah 37 so you can check it yourself now for me i, I have lots of problems with this Okay. See, did you did you remember I said we'd be interrupted? Yeah. Bob is such a liar. Now I told you I told you that I would be interrupted, and I advised you to stay focused on our conversation. Yeah. Because this is the manners of the dai here in the corner. Now notice how rude they're being. Yeah. So you've just got to focus on our conversation now and try your best to ignore him. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. When you said to one of one on whom Allah bestowed the favor and you bestowed favor, keep your wife and fear Allah, while you concealed within yourself that which Allah is to disclose, and you feared the people where Allah has more right for you that you fear Him. So when Zayd had no longer any need for her, we married her to you in order that there not be upon the believers any discomfort concerning the wives of their adopted sons when they no longer have need. Their adopted them. sons. Yeah. So you see, I'm not lying. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you that, that Muhammad desired her. So in Sahih, now focus on me, because I did say we'd get interrupted. Yeah, focus on me. No, yeah, yeah, focus on me. If you, bro, if you engage him, he's just going to interrupt more. 
Focus on our no, conversation. Brother, brother, yeah? Already he right, lied. make a decision for yourself see, not to be pressured. This there. happens at the that corner. The yeah? Okay. That's so let me, in Sahih al Bukhari, for. And he wants uh, to lie to you. Four, I think it's either 4788, 4788, he, four, eight, eight. we read these. Are you, Are you listening? Are you listening? Those ladies, Aisha said, I used to look down upon those ladies who had given themselves to Allah's messenger and I used to say, can a lady give himself, can a lady give herself but when Allah revealed Surah 33:51, I said, "This is Aisha. I feel your Lord hastens in fulfilling your wishes." So what was what did Allah do for Muhammad? So this is in Sahih Al Bukhari 4788. What 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 is it that Muhammad? What was it that Allah did for Muhammad? What was it? Answer this, answer Sahih this. Was the, uh, I'm claiming that your biblical... Sahih al-Bukhari 4788. Like Mark said. Yeah. Right? Show me I'm wrong. So, Prove to me that I'm wrong. Aisha said, your Lord hastens to answer your wishes. What did Allah do? What did Allah do for Muhammad? Can you answer that? According to Surah 3351. From the verse Bro, that focus the on our conversation. This guy is just not woman. going to stop. Answer my question. This Answer is the manners question. of the Dawah team. This is the manners of people because pushing Islam. Now. Because he so know, answer, you know, focus on what it says. So in Surah, did, brother, can did you, you come to me or you, did I come to you? Can you? Can you? Can did, you prove to did you, people did, how you, you came to me exactly? Right. Focus on our conversation. To, to yeah? him. Can you, can you prove to him? So in Surah 33, 51, I'm just going to have to raise my voice. Be a man of word. In Surah 33, that, that your biblical God, you see now. I have 51. Can you, can you? Can you? One second. What's the Let's problem? focus. What's the problem? Right? Yeah. yeah. Was a prostitute. Yes. And there is any yes. problem with it. Yes, this is a big what problem. Is lesser this than a woman. Is your God is thou mayest God defer God any of them God that thou pleasest, and thou mayest receive any thou pleasest, and there is no blame on thee if thou invite one of those that has set aside this were nigher to the cooling of the eyes the prevention of their grief and their satisfaction that all of them which thou hast given them and Allah knows that is in your hearts and Allah is all-knowing come and just step this way bro yeah come and step this way right so in this surah Allah is saying that the marriage between Zainab and Muhammad is legal. Right? That's the desire in Muhammad's heart that Aisha says, Allah is quick to fulfill your desires. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, because Muhammad married Zainab. Answer me, answer me. Now, is that did right? To you? Did he prove to you that the, is that the right? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he desired her or not? If what you're saying is true, then no. Yes, exactly. So did what you need to show, do is look at the story in Al-Tabari. Yeah? So in Al-Tabari, focus on that. me, just ask ignore this guy. Like, do you that. think he's being ask rude that. right now? Ask him that. I'm yes. Him ask him that. Right. Ask him that. No, no, hold ask on, brother. 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 How Shall we stop our conversation? Because do you want to talk to him now no, or do no, you want to stop? No, no, no. you want to ask him. No, no, no. Question, brother, question, if you're going to just listen to him, question. we should stop. Ask him how can your okay. biblical God permit brother, a prostitute to massage him? What, what I want to address here, to what I want to address like here, sin. what I can want to address that? here. Can he answer that? What I want to address that? here Why he is the fact that you recognize that Muhammad... When he lies about you, right. he lies, Brother, he you can't focus right he now, he so let's stop. What I want to give you do, what I want to do... What's your name, bro? He didn't. Zaid, it was really nice talking did he to prove you. To you that? I want to give you a gift. I want to give you a gift. Did he prove to you that? Have you got a Bible? Uh, uh, you are such a liar, Bob. You see how he's the coward? You have Bible gateway. But I want to give you an actual gift, right? I want to give you an actual gift. Yeah. I'm not going. I'm not going. Okay. Can you explain to him how your biblical God? So here's a here's a gospel he, of Mark. 
Can you can you explain have a, to him? a read of that? That's my gift to you. No, no, you've been no, very him, polite him, and you've, you've been very talk civilized. About your and you I want to thank you. Okay. Can you prove now to I want to remind you, bro, that you said that the moral teachings of Jesus was greater than the moral teachings of Muhammad. How? He permit a, a, a Remember to massage him. when I said he about treating dog. people better than you? He called a woman this dog. This is how we Christians are being treated across the Muslim world right now. No, that's that's the way when he come to you. What I'm saying to you, bro, is you've got to be strong to separate to yourself you, from the pressure that, of people like him, question, from the, question, the pressure of people question. like him. Prove to him, prove yeah? to him that okay. you You've looked at my evidence, Show him, consider prove it. To him. Consider How it can for your yourself. Okay? A, a prostitute to you look after him. yourself. Can you right, answer God that, bless. Bob? Can you God answer bless. that? And you, can you, you know, that? come back and ask me another question. I warned you that this would happen. Did I not warn you that this would happen? Because they're very predictable. Yeah? They're very predictable. Yeah. God bless you. Okay. So now let me answer your question, Sam. So now let me answer your question, Sam. So you quoted, you quoted the Bible when Jesus allowed a prostitute to massage his feet. That's what he said. And he said that we Christians, and he even said it like we Christians should be ashamed of yes. this and they want you to quote and the reality is brothers and sisters reality, I want, I want that to our to lord now notice he asked the question yeah. I want you but to the dawah gandhist can't go even ahead, listen to the answer no he can't even to listen to the answer when I was talking about our lord yeah. allowed yeah. a prostitute yeah. to massage his feet yeah. why why, he said, why? why? Liar, because Anyone from the lowest person to the highest person can serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Your social status is no hindrance to serving the Lord Jesus Christ.